I'm going to quickly set up um, the previous one a little bit go a little bit longer. And um, yeah, welcome here today. Today is a little bit different from what you are used to. So I'm not going to go through uh, PowerPoint slides and, and, and run through. I just want to quickly look at giving you some, uh, how can I say, some tips and tricks about using social media that you probably can go out and use so long and use to your advantage. Now, I'm going to try to give you as much uh, um, extras as possible. And uh, yeah, then we take it from there. And uh, I think the one thing that is, is just get your questions ready at the end, that one that you can maybe, that you, if you have any questions that you can ask. OK, so <clears throat> where can we start? So I just want to wait for a few people to come in. Just uh, while we're waiting for people, just um, let me know where you're from. Are you looking forward? Is there something probably you would love to learn about social media? Maybe, you know, I'm going to go for, I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to go to some of the, the social media channels and just show you some tricks and tips uh, that you can take away. Um. <coughs> okay, so just one away. I see a lot of a few people are still joining. I um, just want to say welcome. Everything social media challenge, Sonia. Yes, I know social media is a challenge for most people, but uh, we're going to make it successful. And, and hopefully, I can give you some tips and tricks today. And I just uh, um, tonight, you know, so, okay. Anyone else that maybe has a question? Uh, well, before I start, I just want to wait for a few people to join. Uh, the other uh, webinar just ended a few minutes ago. And we didn't have time to quickly set up and wait for everyone to join. So I see everyone is busy getting on. Um, I just want to get a video and maybe play a video um, before we start. Now, let's quickly. Okay, so I'm going to play a video. Sorry for holding all you up. Uh, we're at least uh, still waiting for people to join. But while we wait, you know, uh, let me show you uh, the one thing that I'm going to show you now, and then I'm going to read your comments, is the, the power of having testimonials. Now, most people say, and I think that is the, let's make that the first ha uh, hack tonight. The first hack tonight is the importance of testimonials. Now, you've seen in some of my uh, slides in the, in the previous um, talks that I did is I showed you written testimonials with a picture of a person with that. Now, that has worked a lot in the past, and, it, and, and I believe it still works because it's on my LinkedIn. I just did a screen grab. But people want to listen to people saying it out of their mouth because it becomes real, because anyone can type something up. Now, I'm just going to give you something. Um, the session my colleagues fear and doubt, yes, Francois. But anyway, let's quickly look. Uh, let me add this YouTube link, and then let's just play this so that you can just see the power of having a video. Now, here's important. Okay. Once you start creating a video testimonial from your clients, so the hack is it's a video first and foremost, and, and it's powerful because it comes from your client, and you can guide it by the questions you ask and what you want them to say, you know, to give you social uh, proof that you are number one at what you do. Now, you can then have them, and you know, you can give something value to them. Say, if you do the following, I will give you a discount the next time you buy, or I will give you a coffee voucher. I just need your support. And so what you ask is that they post it on their social media as well and tag a few friends. Um, also, you can ask them also to, to share it to certain Facebook groups that they do um, do support. Because think about it. You know, you share on Facebook and a Facebook group only your community that are connected with you sees it. If your client posts is on and you, you have the rewritten template, so it's also important to have a template, and you ask them to share it, whose community is that going to reach? Who's giving credibility to you? Who's saying you are the best? Now you're not advertising saying, ah, oh, look at me, I'm the best. No, their community, you know, just by this one video I'm going to show you, I got about 10 clients just reaching out to me, wanting to do business with me because of this, because she shared it on her social media, on her Facebook groups that she belongs to, and because she's proud to be my client. And by being proud to be my client, that assisted me to assist her to be, uh, uh, we basically want, uh, it was a win-win situation because my people and clients said, oh, I love this client from Kuvis. I want to do business with her. So let me just show you um, uh, this video. 
What do you mean template for clients? Okay, Sonia, great question. A template is a rewritten um, a script that you want um, them to post. So you save them time. You don't have to let them type out uh, what uh, they want to say. You know, you shave them time. You know, they've done everything in the video. So in the template, you would say, um, uh, you know, just uh, please watch this video. I had great services, uh, service from Kubis Fisher. Here is his link to his website. Please go follow him or please go like him on Facebook. You, you know, he's number one. So you just write, rewrite something with a link. The importance is you have to have a link that p takes people to where you want them to be. Okay, but I'm going to show you uh, something powerful about uh, tracking and measurements. But before we get there, let's just listen to this video. Hi everyone, this is Karma from Karma Soul. Thank you, thank you. So this was so sad, 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 Help them to learn the power of meditation. Because it is meditation. It is meditation. By doing by doing and, and, um, and, um, you know, it's amazing you know, it's to see how business has grown as a boss. And I'm looking yeah, forward to how it's going to grow more globally in the next year. Thank you for that opportunity. It's a pleasure. Tell me, why did you choose to do that with your corporate client today? So, how does Dr. Fatih work with what you do? Yeah, Dr. Fatih in a lot of ways. Because today we also had drama. And it was to teach people how to get into your people. You get your high, 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 Right. And speaking of meditative state, that's actually exactly how dotting is described. Because it requires concentration, a lot of people describe it as going into a meditative state. Because you have to be present at every step of the process. Yeah, I think that is one of the feedbacks the guy said. You know, he said, no, I'm not going to do this. And once he started, he said it got so addictive, he didn't want to watch. He's like, oh, an hour is already gone. And that's how deep he was in it. So and I think the lesson I've learned there is, you know, the moment you get focused, uh, you get better results. So what you focus on is what you get. So I think that is the one big lesson I learned today. Great. So if anybody would like to get a hold of you? Does everyone want to get a hold? It's easy. It's uh, supermanlife.com or Quibis with a C. I'm Quibis with a C, guys. Uh, Quibisfisser.com. Uh, or just go follow me on Facebook, Quibis Fisser, you know, mental strength guru. And, uh, I'm, and looking uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you on Facebook. You on Facebook. Facebook. Please Please add add your your Quibis with a C. Quibis with a C. Like Kalama. Like Kalama. Yeah, and, and I'm just putting it down there because I don't want to just show the whole video. The, the, the point of it is that it's important that you create testimonials and you, you have a conversation with your client and talk, you know, because in a sense you're promoting them as well. It becomes a win-win situation. Now, I'm going to share quickly my screen with all of you and uh, just get it up and running. So just wait for a sec. Um, Sonia, awesome. Thank you, Sonia. Okay, so this is my screen. Um, I can't really see now you, uh, your comments, but here's one thing that you need to do. So first and foremost, you create a template. <clears throat> now, here's templates that I've been creating. And now it's for LinkedIn, you know, messages that I want to send. Um, you know, I, I type it out. I'm going to share it. Now, a template is a different template from for emails, uh, for WhatsApps, for SMSs. You, you have a place where you save it all. And by saving it all, you create a place where you just copy and paste so you have one for testimonials, but you just put it in and the link that you want them to share. And that's so, it's so important. Now, you will see I have two links, but the main one for me is I'm going to just highlight it, that link. You know, it's called a Bitly link. Now, why is it a shortened link? You know, it's not the whole website line like www.cobisvisor.com. And the reason for that is when I share that with a client, I want to see what traction I'm getting. Remember, I just spoke to you at the previous um uh, a webinar about marketing is it comes down to measurement. I need to know how many people I'm reaching. I'll just give you an example. Bitly is a web, website that uh, is like bitly.com and it allows you to track your um, link. Now, to give you an example, 
Uh, we did two events and we did one with chart and you can see there's some of them that are done doesn't have zero clicks because people don't click on it so you need to go then see what is wrong with my template that i shared you know why aren't people clicking you know you can create a, a shortened link for facebook when you share some of them so that you can check how facebook is working you can create a short link for linkedin and for email so that you can see which platform works for you and where clients respond now here's one that uh, i've charted and we did this overall he shared it in all of his medias on his link alone, he got over 252 clicks. Then uh, um, platform with Summit that we are creating, we can now see how many of those 250 turned into bookings. And that will give us the return of investment that we have by sharing this link. Now you can see the days that have been busy, uh, how many clicks on the perf and the, those days. And interesting, and we can also track um, how many were by email and SMS and directly, how many were by Facebook and LinkedIn. And you can see there's even 15 people from the United States and three people from the Netherlands. Then there was the one that I shared by emails that was over 1,500 total clicks. And it also shows me, again, this is different. Where Chart was with email, SMS, and direct, mine is mainly through Facebook because what? I ran a Facebook ad to get people through this, and about 1,400 came from South Africa, a few from the United States and the Netherlands. So I can get through this. I can get um, uh, an idea where people come from, and it's so easy. Because what you do is you basically copy the URL, the whole uh, link of the website. You go and you click, click Create, and then you just paste it. And then what it does, it creates a short link for you. And now you can tell the title it is. It's like a um, link for Facebook. Um, this is where I'm going to share it. And you can customize. You can leave it as that link, or I can change that link's name. And I can say uh, test one, two, three. You know? And let's see if it takes the, the let's say, another test. OK, I can even add a tag or two to help me to link this uh, link to what I'm going to use it for. Now, let's just see if I can save it. Um, OK, it says the name has already been taken. Um, only can contain characters. So, so you see, we can't use one, two, three, test, um, web, uh, no. Let's check. Custom link is already taken. Webinars, let's check it like that. Ah, oh, did you know custom links get 34% more clicks? So it helps you to create a click and you copy it and you share that link with everyone for people to use. Now, um, how do you create these links? Is it apps or software? And it's a free app. You know, I, I'm going to do my best to show you only free tools that you can use tonight. So this is a free tool. And what's nice about this tool, you know, everything that you share, always have a call to action. You know, that's another hack. You know, have a good call to action where you send people to. You know, it doesn't help you just post something on Facebook and you don't know even if they watched your Facebook post. So have a link where you give them something and you say in your post, you, do you want to know more or go to this link for my, dis my specials, go to this link to see my website, whatever you want to send them to, that is your call to action. So that becomes your link and the link tracks how many people clicks on it. So when you post something on Facebook, you know if it's going to work or not. You know that... Like we saw with Todd, you know, 252 people clicked on his link. You can see with the one that I shared, 1,500 people. It's like, wow, okay. I sent 1,500 people clicked on it but came to my website. How many of those 1,500 became um, um, book tickets? Now, let's say 400, I think it was 600 book tickets. Now, 600 of 1,500. Okay, that is about, uh, that's probably about 40% success rate. Okay. So the reason for that is you need to now think about it. Now you can track. Now you know if your website is working or not. Because if you have a low conversion rate on your website, for example, it means your copy and whatever you have on your website, like copywriting, is not good enough. Your call to action is not strong enough for people to say, but here's my email address. Please contact me. Or I want to know more about you. So first and foremost, links are important. Laura says, I cannot hear anything. Can anyone else not hear? Just uh, so that I just know. Otherwise, Laura, you just need to refresh your um, your page. Ah, okay. Can you please um, refresh your browser, Laura? Ajita says, I can hear clearly. Great stuff. Okay. 
So this is one hack that you need because this is where you share it. And you can see it. I use it in my templates. Uh, why I say first name? Because this is when I address someone on social media. I use their first name. It's just a reminder for me to say, Quibus first. I, um, I'm looking to connect with you, uh, with people who are willing to step up. And I have a whole message. And then I have a, please go read my article because I've written an article and I want them to go read my article. So I know if people are clicking on that link that my message is working. Otherwise, I know it's not working and I have to change the way I present on this. So create a template basis where you can always just copy and paste for testimonials, for sharing on Facebook, for giving to customers to, to use. Um, if you want to connect with people, and I think that is the one thing that is important. So make a note about Bitly. It's a great tool and you will see people, you will start noticing how many people are using Bitly. And if they're not using, then you know these people don't know how to market themselves because they don't know how to track and measure anything. So they don't get a, res a result. They, don't, they can't measure their numbers. Remember, everything that we do comes down to numbers. We need to measure, measure, measure. Okay. So the next thing. Okay. So we have Bitly and we're going to share that. Okay. Oh, sorry, Laura. I don't know why you're not, <coughs> why you can't hear me. Okay. Sonia says, is a call to action when open the link and template or on template? Um, Sonia, no. Call to action it says, um, I'm giving you a free discount voucher and do the call to action is that you need to fill in the net following form to be able so that I can contact you. So you give me your email address. The call to action for this webinar was that summit page that you come meeting of the minds, the top uh, 15 speakers coming together. We can talk about health, life, business, and marketing. Please, do you want to subscribe? Remember, you had to put your email in it and to say subscribe. And then it took you to the page where you had to choose the talks. That was the call to action to have you take action to give me your email address. Um, Laura, um, I don't think I did Laura on mute. Um, so, but Laura, I'm also on Facebook Live. So, if you want, if you can't hear me, see if you can hear on Facebook Live. Okay. So that is one thing that is Bitly. Okay. So please leave uh, some of your questions for last, and then we're gonna go for it. So let's quickly go and run to Facebook. Okay. How many of you are on Facebook? Can you all please tell me how many of you are on Facebook? Okay, um, Facebook is a powerful tool. And remember when I said you get profiles and pages, but let me show you how you can get uh, business. Now, let's go down to um, how many of you know the, the webs, uh, the Facebook group called I Know a Guy? Let's just for example. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to open I Know a Guy. Okay, so you can see there's 172,000 members. Now I, I open it. Okay. Now, a no guy is a lot of posts, and you don't know where you need to go. And I, I'm looking for someone to create a website and email domain, you know, um, so they're looking for someone. So if you are on website building, you can probably comment there and. Uh, you know, their discount package, you know, you comment in there, please, and they people tag you. I don't know why they tag you. They don't say anything else, and that pe person doesn't respond. But let's say you want to search in this group something that has business with you. Now, like, uh, let's say I'm in marketing, right, like I am, right? So at the, as you can see where I'm typing, I don't know if you can see, but I'm typing in the search function. I'm typing in marketing. And what this does is it allows me to search in that group something to do with marketing. Okay, so let me put in marketing. Okay, let, let's see what it picks up. Okay, so it's going to come through. Let's quickly check how many people are um, coming through. I just want to see. Yes, yes, yes. How you are. <coughs> <coughs> so let's wait until that opens. Let's see, a bit. I don't know why the internet is so slow tonight. I have about 50 megs download and 20 megs upload. So. It, Okay, there it comes. Do you all see? Okay. Now you can, on the June of the 30th, there's a, a lady that commented, I'm looking for companies that does daily posts on groups of marketing and attractors by potions on behalf of clients and manage companies. If you could please email the rates for me. Now, here's the thing. Let me just open that. I want to show you. 
what you should have done. I see he's closed the way that you can't comment, but you know, because he's gotten all the answers that he needs. There's another guy, a marketing that is looking for marketing and ads. There's another one looking for marketing uh, for a marketing guru. I should have actually responded to that. Um, there's another one, Damien, looking for marketing virtual assistance transcription. There's a lot of people looking for marketing. Now, what happens is people don't read. Okay, that's the biggest challenge. What people don't do, they don't read a message. There's such a she's asking. What what is the one thing she's asking in her email? Please email me your rights. So now people are tagging and they. I so, so I do this many different clients. Please contact who me. But she asked you and need to contact her. So why would she come and connect and contact you? You know, that's one thing that people are mistaken. They think, oh, you just have to post something and they're going to come to you. No, you have to put in the work, unfortunately. Okay. And now people tag you. What does that mean to Sasha? Marika Groot and, and self. It doesn't mean anything. Okay. Tiffany should have said, Diane, listen to this. Diane is the, your person to go to. Here's a link to their website. Example. At least say so that if Sasha had to look that she can act because this is someone actually referring you, but just putting a name down, you don't know why they're putting the name down, you know, Sasha. So, okay. So when you refer someone and, and someone, you can always ask Tiffany, uh, when you see she's uh, tagged you to say, Tiffany, will you, won't you mind go editing it and say, why did you tag me that I'm probably the best that there is? So that is one thing that is important. But look at our people. Look at here. As requested in my post, please email me your packages. This woman got irritated with people just commenting names and they, we can assist you and we have proof of our work. Okay, great stuff. You can assist me, but where do you, where's your link? Where should I go? Okay. I'm not going to, people don't have time to reply. Again, what did she say? Email me. The next thing Janine says, uh, this is our package. That's it. So he didn't say I emailed you. Here's my number. Please phone me. But <laughs> who's looking for clients? And yet you tell your clients, please phone me. You don't chase after them. It's like you go out at a club scene and you look uh, for our men. You look at a beautiful lady. You go give your number. Please call me. They're not going to do it. They're going to think, who's this guy telling me just to call them? So it's important. Look at it. You know, people just post stuff and then, ah, oh, here's someone at least that said, I sent you an email and this. But now look at this. Now this is where I'm going to give you a tip today. Delmarie did a really good thing, but she's missing one secret ingredient. She said, uh, and, and this is how she's going to grab attention. She's going to say, I, I sent it to you. Uh, please look out of your email box, right? But here's the next thing she needed to say before she said email or after the email has been sent. Email sent, please look in your inbox. And then what makes you different from other competitors? You need to now stand out out of all of those messages. You can say, like, you need to have your pickup line to be able to stand out. Now, to example, how I help businesses, this is my pickup line. Let me quickly show you. And the pickup line is, who do you help? Okay. So first and foremost, who do you help? Uh, what result uh, do they get by you helping them? Through what method do you help them? And how long does that method take? Okay. So let's quickly just open my, my LinkedIn while I'm seeing how many questions we have. Sonia, yes, did you click unmute, Laura, unmute? I hear you also, awesome. Okay, so I just want to see why LinkedIn is so taking so long. And, and, and that's why I wanted you to be on here tonight because I, I, don't, I want to show you step by step what you can do. Okay, then let's go. Okay, let's just make my name a little bit bigger so that you all can see. Okay, so here's your pickup line. And, and this is where, and you're going to use this pickup line everywhere from all your social media. There I am, same. So people come to me, they don't see I'm the CEO of Kobus Fissero, I'm the CEO of Vitamin B or this is what they see. I help businesses to grow by 10,000% in 12 months through business and marketing strategies. So who do you help? She could have said, Dalmary could have said, Dalmary could have said, email saying, we assist small or SMEs to grow their social media. Okay, let's, let's, let's look at what the, the post says. Do that. Okay. We assist. Um, let's just see what company is. Action Purpose Belief Manage Company Pages. Okay. We assist, okay, a company to grow their pages through daily postings in a 12 month period with a thousand percent. Just an example. Okay. So you have a nice reason for them to say, okay, so they 
are doing this for small companies already. Or you can say this, we are the number one preferred company for, for small companies to run their uh, marketing on social media by posting for them. Over a period of six months, guaranteeing you a 10% of growth, example. Okay, so it's a pickup line. It's like going to the bar and asking someone, you know, you don't tell them to like you, you tell them why you are amazing, okay? And if they're gonna go to your social media, they need to see that you are amazing. That's the other important, because now you go to these people's uh, Facebook pages and you don't see anything, and then you think you're running marketing, but there's nothing on your Facebook. Just Let's just for interest, they, they go and see um, if they have something. So important, have a call to action even in your post to them, you know, tell them, email sent, and so you can connect out with people. Now, let's quickly look in the same group. We're gonna do a search. I'm gonna search because I'm a business coach, right? Let's see if I can see if people are searching for a business coach in that group. Now you can go to different groups. There's people who live in Centurion, there's people in different places. Now let's quickly see. Now, uh, Facebook looks good. See, as um, a, a pricing and products are there, See, there's over 2,000 people, uh, but there's one thing that I'm going to look for is reviews. Let's see, does he have reviews? Uh, doesn't look like it, right? Oh, there is reviews. I'm going to check it now. Um, da -da -da. Let's quickly go down. Last post was the, f no, post was it no, 10 hours ago, but that means nothing. 10 hours, okay, at least 10 hours. But do you all see now? There's he's posted a link. How does he know this post is going to work by just clicking on that link? By having a bit that transformed into a bitly link, you can now track how much this post is reacting and getting traction on social media. And then you will know if this post is working. You can see they shared it 14 shares, but only two likes. And this is why it's so important for you to have a strategy when you work with social media. Just don't post stuff and you don't know if it's going to work. Okay. So it looks like, yeah, yes, people also asking. I really need a business coach or a mentor for my life. Yes, people asking for your business. No, I just need to go for them. Could please recommend a really good business for me? So you can actually reach out to people through this and tell them, look, I help small businesses grow by 10,000% over a period of 12 months. I've, uh, well, I don't want to ask for an email. Here's a link, bitly link, to find out more about me. And you're going to know if they're going to take action or not. So it's important to have that template ready so that you can put it in. Yeah, look at that. Looking for a business coach who can guide us in the initial phase of our business. Looking for a female life coach, business and personal. I need a business coach. Any no, no, a guy. My business is struggling. Oh, this business, 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 business. I agree. I'm looking for a business coach, personal coach, business coach. Now people say, that, well, I don't have business. Well, you need to reach out to these people, you know, and, and you need to stand out. Okay. So let's quickly look. Um, so this is uh, searching a group. Now you say, okay, Corvus, let's say that you're not searching a group. Now you go to your main search function and I want to look for uh, um, uh, looking for a business coach. Let's just put it in. This we, we should, okay? There's a few videos. What I'm going to look for is I'm going to look for posts. Ah, this is nice. Now look at this. Okay, so Edward has uh, uh, written down something. We need to go read there. Yes, someone, Alda, put looking for mature business coach recommendations. You know, 1st of July was just the other day. Even though this is old, you can still reach out to people because they might still need a coach still. Again, looking for business coach, looking for a lifestyle coach. Um, again, looking for a coach. People that you are not connect uh, connected with, looking for a coach, a business coach. Um, you know, see all public posts for looking for a business coach. So I can click on that. I can open it up, and there it is. Coach A is looking for a business coach. This one is a coach Amy. Even a coach is looking for a business coach. So you can see what people are posting. Are you sitting or looking for real stable business? Okay, it's not for us. So international opportunity, you're probably going to go through this. So it's going to take time. That's why you need um, a social media person to assist you to get the right results. So you can search for it and you can still get the results you need. Now, I've seen many companies who have Facebook pages, but then you see that one upset customer who posted a bad recommendation review. How could it prevent it? Unfortunately, um, is you need to build that relationship with your customer. So let's go look. Um, I actually closed that one. Um, and sell connection. So it has happened a few times. Uh, you get people that uh, um, can give you really bad reviews. So you, there's one way to do this. And, 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 and 
how can you save face? You reach out to them and say, how can I fix it that you can give me a better review? Because there's something that they're unhappy in, and people want something. They want a return that says, okay, I will be willing if you, you know, if you stick me out for a coffee or whatever. So ask them what will it take for them to change the review. So if it means to give a better price, if it's the means, so it all depends on what the review was. So if we go look um, at the review, um, let's just check. I'm just going to here on the left. I know I saw reviews. Let's quickly look at the reviews. Okay. Wow. So you got five stars, five out of five. But the thing is, he's only got 19 people um, commenting on it. So here's the thing. The more people you can get to give you positive reviews, the more your company will see. You can see, you know, uh, when she posts something, um, let's go just home, you will see that hardly they get any likes. Okay. Um, let's just go down. You will see um, probably two likes, uh, probably two likes, uh, two likes. It's probably the same person liking it. 28 shares means this lady has posted it and then sharing it to all different groups he's belonging to. No like. And th this is a social media company, right? And, and you want to think, okay, where's the results? Uh, you know, how is this not growing with all of them? So, but let me go show you a page that I'm very proud of. Because mine is not yet there, <laughs> but my clients are doing amazing. So let's look at Color My Soul as an example. Again, so let's go look at her reviews. <coughs> reviews. Now you can see, look at that, 174 people gave her a five out of five star. Okay, that already is a big difference. Um, let's go look at the recent. Um, even on the 1st of July, someone gave her a five star. So already this is a powerful thing where people can come and see, okay, all of these people like it. You know, why shouldn't I like it? 174 people gave uh, a review. Now let's quickly scroll down. Let's look at the posts that she's been doing. And I just want to show you the powerful thing. Um, let's quickly look. Look, no, I'm not going to look at those ones. Okay, give you an example. This one, do you see boost posts that hasn't been boosted? It's different from this one that has been boosted to give you a result. So, if you want to promote something, so why would I boost the post? There's two reasons. Okay, it's not going to bring you in business. So, forget about it. One is to build your brand. Also, it teaches the algorithm of uh, so in the beginning of your Facebook page, you will do boost posting. So that Facebook can start learning about your Facebook page and what's happening on your Facebook page, who's interacting with it. So it's important in the beginning you can boost it, but you know it's just going to get your likes. It's not going to get your business. So you can waste your money just by boosting posts, and then you can say, "Oh, of ten thousand people like my post," you know, like this one. We can say, "Oh, it reached forty-nine thousand people," but <laughs> that's not forty-nine thousand random bank account. Um, but again. You know, it got her some likes. You know, people started seeing it. You know, 34 comments. Now, this is a boosted one compared to someone like this one that hasn't been boosted, but also still got 109 likes, still got 34 comments. Now, let's go down again. You know, I just want to go down. And then I think that is one thing that's important. You need to beat the algorithm of social media. So I'm just sharing you the importance of it. And the, and the one thing that is helping with this is, you know, here's the thing. So you get the people to give a recommendation. But when she works with her customers, before they go away from her, she says, I, you know, do you have your phone with you? Okay, yes, you do. Can you just quickly like my page for me? I would really, really appreciate it. And then people will like her page and she will grow. And then they probably will like their posts. So again, look at this, 27 uh, likes, 14 comments, not boosted. Okay, another one, you know, not boosted, but 55 likes, five comments. Okay, look at this. Uh, okay, this one we can't boost, but still four comments and 53 likes. Um, this one, uh, 30 likes, seven comments. This is even better than the social media uh, page that we looked at and also can't be boosted. So it wasn't boosted. You can see people are interacting and here's the secret. There's another hack. Respond to every comment on your page. You will see she's responding to each and every one. Okay, so you need to respond to your clients. Let's go down quickly. Here's another one she's posted. 60 likes, three comments. I'm just going down so that you can see uh, um, the pages hasn't been boosted, but she's getting traction and she's responding. Okay. So what does this for Facebook? It allows Facebook to put this in front of more people. So how many of you have a company and have staff working for you? Now let's take an example for a company that has 20 staff members. 
I believe we are in a time where we need to transform our workers that they need to have multiple hats on. From the admin lady to the PA to the um, coffee lady needs to do marketing for the company. Now imagine you have a staff of 20 people in your company and all 20 of them come and like your post. All 20 of them come and comment and say great article or great photo. 20 of them come and they share. Already the extraction on your Facebook and already your com your, um, uh, you're telling Facebook this is relevant information that you need to share with other people. And then will Facebook will do it for free. The thing is Facebook loves um, putting relevant th things in front of people. They don't want to waste people's time. So if your things are not relevant and people don't like it and comment in, it's going to be hard. It's not going to be promoted. Okay. So this is free tool. So if you have family and friends and you want to write on them, ask them. You please, every here's my link to my post. Please go like, please go share, please go comment. Okay. And suddenly people will do and you will start seeing the traction go up. I just want to see, again, this one wasn't posted. A video 19, let's <coughs> look, not posted, you know, but still 46 comments, shares, um, 59. I, I, I love this. Even people shared it, 18 shares. I know she hasn't shared it. 10 comments, 81 likes. You know, this is example one we boosted because it's a launch of our online course. So we don't boost everything. And this is not for business. This is for branding. Remember, make a mental note. Boosting is not for getting business. It's just for creating brand awareness. That's it. Um, second birthday, look at that. Can't boost it because it was an old post uh, shared. But look at that. 145 likes, 75 comments. Look at it. She's commenting and responding to each and every message. You start feeling like a family. Okay. So that is one thing that about Facebook. Um, what is the difference between just a like and engagement? Well, engagement is they saw they didn't like, they didn't comment. They were they were on your um, post. They saw your post and they pro and they they how can I say they 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 stopped for a few seconds to watch it. That's engagement. They probably clicked on the photo, opened the photo to look at the photo or the video, stopped it and moved on. They engaged with uh, your post, but they didn't like it and they didn't comment. And that's why some engagements would be higher because, you know, people see your stuff, but why don't you like it? Not everyone likes your post. Okay. I uh, just want to see, uh, I've restored it, laptop, even switch off, and you're blocking the sound, but you didn't know it. Would you please send the link to the recording? Of yeah, I will definitely do, Laura. Sorry about that. Uh, we're going to miss you, Laura. Um, okay. So, this is some strategies for Facebook to do it. Now, if you have friends, you can ask them, you know, please share this post to me, and they can go share it with on on their Facebook groups. And, and that's where the power lies. This is all free tools that I'm saying to you. Especially if you have a team and family, use and leverage them so that you can get better results. Okay. So let me quickly look. You search on Facebook. I just want to go through my notes that I'm teaching you what I want you to learn. Um, reviews are very important. Uh, you search, you respond, and now, like I said, you have your selling pickup line that is important that you need people to see. Okay, let's quickly look at something called a Facebook pixel. Okay, so let's quickly, um, let's use this one. I just want to open take a lot. And then I'm going to go to something called, um, let me just open, I'm just going to open... It's just maybe up <coughs> that one. Um, <coughs> so <coughs> I'm going to go here, take a lot home. And while that's opening, you know, if you have questions, please um, get them ready. You know, when I look, I will, um, will definitely see that I can answer and bring it in. But I want to show you the power of social media. That's the most important. So Facebook Pixel is a pixel and an, an analytics tool that allows people to and attracts people uh, when they visit your website. Now, example, if we had to look at Takeolo, how many of you have visited a store and then this store runs an ad and then we, before you know it, you go on Facebook and you look at it and, oh, here's the ad running in front of me. Now, I'm just going to look at, um, let's go cell phones and, you know, you're going to click on it or camping outdoor and you're going to find it. Now, I want to show you something. <coughs> um, Chrome allows you to add a pixel tracker on, uh, on, 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 um, on the website so that you can start seeing um, who's happening. Even Twitter. Now, just give you an example. I'm going to click on there. Do you see Twitter as a pixel? Twitter website tags found on the take a lot. So take a lot is even tracking me through Twitter. So if I had to go on Twitter, they would run an ad. It will be in front of who? 
in front of me. You know, they have their tag ID. So let's quickly see where's Facebook's one. Um, I'm just going to check open there. There it is, Facebook Pixel Helper. Okay. Do you all see Facebook is basically tracking me? It, it tells um, uh, Facebook tells um, basically take a look what pages am I looking at, how long am I looking at. It also collects micro data about me with so certain parameters that I don't know what all of them mean, but I know Facebook knows what it means, and so it tracks them. You can even look at view analytics. Okay. So. Facebook tracks you. Now, I'm going to be here for a few moments, right? The longer I'm here, if I go to Facebook later, guess who's going to be ads am I going to see on social media? I'm freaking going to see take a lot everywhere. And then certain women will think, or like men will think, oh, you see, it's God. You know, wife, do you see this? God is sending me a, a sign. I have to buy this, you know? And then people <laughs> do see it as a sign. So it's just a way of marketing. So what does a Facebook pixel do? Um, show later. I want to go to um, one thing. Let's quickly look. Um, I'm first going to go to audiences. So one thing that Facebook does with the pixel, you can collect people's details that visit your website. So you can build an audience. So when you market it, like take a lot's going to do, you can only market to people that are in front that have visited your website. So it's people that already know about you. It's really people that are already interested about you. Okay, so even if you're not going to use pay money towards marketing, at least you can have the pixel installed so that you can run ads later and it can collect audiences for you. So look at that. There's my one website, Superman Life website. So it, it gathers the info uh, for them and you can then start creating ads. Now, on my program, um, the, the, the Euro Experts Academy, I go through how you set up a pixel, how you create an audience. If you have a database of emails, all right? Let me just do an example. Let's go custom audience. So you can track a lot of things through Facebook. <clears throat> now, one is you can uh, track people and build an audience that have visited your website. If you have a customer list, you have their cell phone numbers and email addresses, you upload it to Facebook. So you can actually advertise to your current clients. Okay? Nobody else is going to see it. So that is the nice thing about this. You can, if they, are, if they watched your video, um, if they visit your Facebook page, so you can actually build so it's people that have visited your page so that you run an ad, it's only in front of those people. And that's why this is so powerful. Now, you ask me, okay, but this is my current clients. How do I get new clients? The one thing that you do, it's something called lookalike audience. Now, if I click on that, I can select an audience and I can say, I want people that look like the people that visit my website, as an example, or my, my custom list that I've uploaded, I want people to look like that. Now, if you look here at the bottom, it can generate an audience that looks 1% like your current audience. Now, what that means is the clients that you can uh, advertise to, or possible clients, look as, as a 1% differentiator from the people that are currently your clients. So what does that mean? It means uh, that are 1%, the chances of people buying from you, it's 1%, it's, it's like 100%, 99%. But you can actually grow it up. To like 10 percent now if you look at that the audience size rise from one to ten the combined population of location you can say just in pretoria for example a one percent lookalike or consists of the people most similar to your lookalike uh, source increasing the percentage creates a bigger and broader audience so you can target new people now i'm not going to go through i don't have time but i want to show you that you can create i can create people that visits my in instagram you know at the moment i've just had 3500 people because facebook page has visited uh, 6000 people um i have a pixel on one of my websites uh, below a thousand so it's a little bit low so i can now see their saved audience i got leads that i uploaded about 600,000. So I saved it. So it's already clients that I had that I uploaded that visited my webinars, etc., and I can promote and market towards them. Okay. So that is one thing. So here's also a thing that um, um, it can do. I just want to see if I have time to go for it. Uh, but I, it, it just Facebook is the most powerful tool you can have in this world. It, it, it really um, takes it to the next level. Um, let's quickly look um, audience um, analytics. I just want to see where it is. Traffic analysis, um, analyze and report audiences. I think business settings. Then want to go into two deep stuff. Um, audience insights. Let me just check that quickly.
everyone on Facebook, choose an audience now. So what uh, Facebook then does with the pixel, it allows you to see who visits you. Just an example, 55%, if there's any women on the group, 55% of you visits me. And the age as well is between 25 and 34 um, going down. So you can get a lot of analytics of business. Now, this is business or Facebook that you have to set up. I take you through all of the processes how to set up. Okay, I just want to see how do you get an idea what your is doing. Oh, Francois, how do you get an idea what your competition is doing? Love it. So first and foremost, if you want to see how your fa um, if what ads that are running, okay? So Francois, maybe put in a, uh, um, some of your competitors' names so that I can go Google them. So the one platform that you go to is ads, um, well, let me, Facebook ads library, um, ad library. Okay, so Facebook. Uh, now, here you can go and see what people, uh, competitors are doing. Now, okay, let's see if you put any names in. How do you get an idea what your competitors are doing? Any type find all ages on yet? Younger, teenager, parents, norms. Okay. I'm waiting for you, Francis. So while he's doing that, um, let me quickly put this in. Um, And so, uh, Francois, well, let me ask a possible customer um, uh, what your competition is doing. Okay, so Falcon Animal Leads. Let's just put in, see if we can find them for you, Francois. Okay. So, one thing that you can do is first and foremost, you can first see what ads a, a company runs, right? And if they're on Facebook. So, Facebook. So, they are running ad. Okay. Falcon animal, falcon animal. Okay, so more results. So um, it looks like that animal feeds are not on here, but just give you an example. One can then go look and click on them and see if they're running any ads. Now, these guys are running ads, and you can see what ads they are running, what ads are active. Look, this ad. This ad is running from 15 October 2019. Do you know for an ad to be run that long means that ad is getting results? It means this ad is running so long that they don't want to close it down because it's getting them good results. So you can see what copy they're using and uh, what they, they say, call now, call now, so they actually track it. But you can use ads library as one way of doing that to um, see if your clients are advertising. The other thing that you do is you can then go spy on your competitors. There is tools. You just put it in Google. And Google will give you tools like spy on your competitors, competitive intelligence. You can see how to perform best, buffer. Um, let me quickly go. Yes, before, uh, another one. Uh, Buzz. Buzzuma. Buzzuma is also a uh, um, uh, nice, it's a competitor intelligence. So you can look at your. So some of these tools are not free, unfortunately. You know, you could probably get a few months free, but you know, you can look and find the content that performs. You can analyze people. You can look at posts that are performing. You can look at what people are looking at. Um, you know, uh, platform has four key components, okay, discovery research, you can do research, you can look at and monitor, uh, find out what um, people already know. I'm not going to go through this, so there is tools for that. Um, <coughs> uh, let's, look, let's look at this one, Ashrams. <coughs> okay, another one is you can, there's so many tools, there's one called Ashrams, just to give you an example, I'm just going to open it up, but um, Again, another tool that you can use, and unfortunately, some of the tools are paid for, but with Ashraf, is you don't have to be an SEO pro. It looks at your SEO. It looks at how good your platforms are performing, learning materials. You know, it's a great uh, uh, tool to use as well. So just Google um, tips. You know, I have a lot of tools that I share that I can't go into tonight because there's one or two things that I need to share as well. But the answer is out there, Franz, and we will go through those. And I know you on the uh, you've paid for you've uh, bought the, uh, the your experts academy, so we will take you through there. Um, the, another thing that is important uh, is, the example, Instagram. Now you can see I have about six thousand seven hundred. You can see I asked them to book for my live event. So do you all see? There's my Bitly link for people to to click on. But you know. At the moment, I'm getting a few clicks because, uh, you know, 121 loves, it's not a lot. You know, I want to have more, but at least people are commenting on me. Now, how do you get more followers on Instagram? Now, let's quickly see. I want to follow people that are, that, that's peak performance example. 
okay? So I'm going to type in, there's over a hashtag, there's over 300,000 people that has used that hashtag. So, you know, I want to connect with people using big form of performance, right? So now I can see which people are uh, commenting and I can basically now, um, I can say follow that. Um, I can say mental performance, mental toughness, and this is the top posts and recent posts. So I can actually open it up and see who's that, that's business. So I can just follow. Now here's a trick for uh, Instagram. You can go follow people every day. You're gonna go follow 20 people a day. They will follow you back. And once they follow you back, you unfollow them. And then your social media, um, Instagram can grow. So that's one tip that you can do. But the other tip that you can do is you can use hashtags, okay, in your post. So by, by putting uh, hashtags in your post, um, not that one, I'm gonna, let's quickly click on that one. So by having hashtags, you know, I usually have hashtags, uh, people can use motivation, marketing. And so by having hashtags, people will find you and follow you as well, okay? There are 56 likes, 57 likes, so some people are loving it. So that's one tip that I can quickly give you through Instagram. The one thing about Instagram, if you post on Instagram, you can set it up in such a way that it automatically posts on Twitter and Facebook for you as well. Okay, the next one that I want you to know is LinkedIn. LinkedIn is very powerful. There's one of my clients, Compliance Hub. Nice to see they've posted something. So the secret is now they need to get their staff, that are 20 people, to like it and to share it. Now, one thing is important is that um, one needs to support each other on this. So let's quickly look at what LinkedIn can do for you. Now, LinkedIn, you can also do a search function. Okay, so let me say I want to find uh, looking for a business code. Looking for a business code as an example. Okay, so I'm going to put it there and then it's going to bring up for me people that are business coaches that I can connect with. Um, looking for a so the difference between LinkedIn and, and Facebook is LinkedIn will show you who the business coaches are. Okay, but here's the tool that I want to share with you today. One thing is, remember I told you about premium, you need to activate Sales Navigator of LinkedIn. Now, the first month is for free, so you can actually go play around your first month before you have to start paying. But let me show you how powerful this is. You can search for leads, okay? I'm gonna go to Lead Filter, okay? So I'm just gonna go, so Geographic, I'm gonna say I wanna focus on Africa. Um, I wanna look for, um, Let's say that C. I'm just going to put in CEO. Um, let's say managing director for now. <clears throat> I'm not going to look list uh, relations from living up. I want the industry. Industry. Uh, um, I, I'm looking for someone that is in, uh, doing. Let's quickly look education. I want to contact someone in banking for now. Okay. Um, a school, no, no, first name, seniority level. I want to reach out. Do you see this with this director? There's a thousand five hundred it finds on, on, on LinkedIn in Africa. Years in position, years at current company. I can search for their title, I can search for their function. Their function is business development, maybe uh, years of experience. I can say the company, I can even target a company, Standard Chartered, APSA Bank. Um, and, and so forth. So I'm going to leave it open because I want to target all of the banks. There's 650 results. Then I go to 650 of them and it opens up for me, the Managing Director of Mutual Benefits, MFB, all of the, uh, the, the, the bank managing directors. I can actually now reach out to all of them and start building a relationship. Now, I'll give you an example. This guy, Adrian, do you see he has the gold next to him? This means he's a LinkedIn. He's paying to be on LinkedIn. So he's going to respond faster than any one of them else. So let's say I want to connect with him. Now, the secret is once I open it up, you need to go view their profile. So now I'm viewing his profile. He's going to get a notification that someone viewed his profile. Now I can look around, I can see where he's been a managing director, I can study him, and I know this is my perfect client. So that's why it's important to know your target client. So once I know who it is, I can now connect with it. So the one thing that is, if I click connect, right? Um, just wanna close that down. I can send an invitation, but I don't want to. 
Okay, I can save it as a lead. I need to put in a message of why am I connecting? This is where your pickup line comes in, or this is where your, it's only 300 characters. Why do you want to connect with Adria? You know, it's now you need to start building a relationship, and then you send your information. And then you will get a connection request. And the moment he accepts, you have a template ready where you have a next message going and replying to him. And uh, again, you're building a relationship. You're not selling. That's the big no-no you shouldn't do. You should build the relationship first. And then these clients become your long-term clients. So you build the relationship on LinkedIn through that. Now, the most important, if you're on your LinkedIn profile, now they're going to see you view them and they're going to see you send in a connection request. Now they're going to come to your profile to see, but who is this guy that wants to connect with me? Because I see it a lot of times. If people view me, sometimes they accept, sometimes they don't. They're going to come. They're going to see who Kubis was Okay, it's quite attractive. I see, you know, he's quite looks good looking. Um, he has a goal. I say he's a premium, so he's not a fly-by-night or a crook. Um, he says he helps businesses. Okay, I'm quite interested to read further um, about. Now, here's the thing about uh, on LinkedIn. Don't make it about you and how great you are and all of the, the, the stuff that you've, um, all the certificates you have. It's not a CV. This becomes like a small website for you. So in the beginning, you will see I focus on asking questions to my target market because when I read this, I want to draw their attention, okay? He's asking the right question. I, my business is not growing true. Uh, are you stuck and don't know how to change? Oh, definitely. You know, COVID has brought new uh, norm, uh, differences. Your staff is not motivated. Yeah, my staff is actually demotivated. Wow, this guy actually talks to my language. I love it. And then he's like, are you looking to turn around your business? Yes, I am. Uh, most businesses lose money on payers. Definitely, I've put a lot of money and it's not working. And then COVID changed and the playing field. And then I read and then I'm like, oh, this has worked with a hundred of organizers around the globe. Okay, that's on the, the, so what do you do? Okay, there's a plan. There's motivation and team culture. There's a marketing message. And to solve this problem, you go from being invisible and there's a solution. And the solution is my Euro Experts Academy to help you build your own system to grow your business. Ah, this guy, I love him. And then there's a, Sonia, there's my call to action. Get a free consulting call, which I can help you to get started on your, uh, uh, to a head start on your comp uh, competition. I only use that day because I know when people message me, it comes from LinkedIn. One client and there's some testimony or results that I've achieved with clients. Will your business be the next success story? Voila. So now I've already sold myself to the person. And if he's interested, he's going to accept and he's going to message me. This is how powerful LinkedIn can be. This is business to business. You know, just to show you, I can search if I want to do business with Apple. No. Um, who do I want to? I, I love Coca Cola. Let's go Coca Cola. Okay. So it's going to bring this up. It's going to search everyone. There's over 650,000 employees that it's on LinkedIn that works for Coca-Cola. Okay. But I don't want to go with them. I want to go. I want to connect with Coca-Cola in the United States. I want to go to the USA. Okay. You know, uh, let's say I do team building, for example. Okay. So the company is the Coca-Cola company or Coca-Cola Consolidated. I want to go with the Coca-Cola company. Then... I want to go, I don't, you can even go a company headcount, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, seniority level. Oh, definitely. Um, let's go um, CXO. Uh, I want to reach out to the CXO, just as an example. Okay, there's 252 of them. Now, the president of the Coca-Cola energy business at the Coca-Cola company. Wow, I can reach out and start connecting with that guy. There is this guy. He's a paid. He doesn't even have a photo, but he's a chief of staff to the president and chief operating officer to the Coca-Cola company. Wow. Isn't that maybe someone I need to reach out to? Uh, he has a chief digital integration, chief, <laughs> chief of staff, also a paid um, premium profile. And suddenly, I get a world of information that I can connect with people and I can build relationships. Now, just to show you how powerful this is, look, at uh, 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 you know, in my previous campaign, I was targeting sports people and sports guys because I wanted to build a relationship. Now, I don't have the photo yet because I did, did a photo. But look at who, who sent me requests, who's my, some of my friends that I've built the, um, relationships with. So how many of you have heard of David Campisi? Okay. What is it, does he do? He's, doing, he's, he's a rapid player. You know, he used to play for Australia. He sent me a connection request, okay? He did send me, okay? Just to give you an example. Here's another one. Okay, Dion, uh, Dion, Dion Davids. Do you know Dion Davids, the Springbok assistant coach? Okay, he sent me a connection. Look at this. We've been chatting. 
Okay, I said, P.S. Coach, let me know when you have a coffee. I'm just having a relationship, you know. I'm not selling. Can we have a coffee over Zoom? We can do. He says, anytime. Just let me know when you are ready. Okay, so I, I already watched up them, so I got his number, and yes, I'm I'm gonna have a coffee Zoom with the assistant coach of the Springbok. So this is a powerful tool. You build a relationship. Why? Because why? On my vision board is I want to work with the Springboks. I want to work on their mental strength. Okay. Let me see if you have any questions. Okay, I'm freaking way behind. Yes, for me, this is amazing. You are sperm and <laughs> Um, Sonia, will LinkedIn work for business that target a group is parents of children to zero to five years? Laura, but she's going to watch replay. Okay. Um, depends on who's the, 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 the owners. Because remember, the guys and girls that are on to, uh, LinkedIn does have children. Okay. So you will just have to build a relationship with them and find out if they have children and how to help them. Definitely it can work, Sonia. Damn, I hope you tackled Campo. That's sneaky sidestep. Yeah, French, I'm still working on it. What I want to do is I want to actually interview him so because he has a live interview. But, you know, it's like everything in life. Don't come and just ask for the kiss. You know, the girl might give you a slap. So he sent me a request. Now I'm just in chat with him. And so let's see. You know, and before I know, I'm just asking him now. So, David, what can I do for you? Um, like he's as a podcast going, can I share that with my community? Yes, here's a link. So I actually give value, and the more value I give, the more I build my relationship. Um, damn, I hope you okay. Yeah, that's one chart for me. Okay, well, let me ask a possible customer. Okay, I saw that. Any other questions that you might have? Um, our time is running out, and I would, I'm just going to run through some of the stuff that you need to look at. One is Get yourself WhatsApp business. For those who don't have WhatsApp business, start getting WhatsApp. You can have two WhatsApps in your phone. You can have your private WhatsApp. Then you have to find a, buy another number. You have to get a, another SIM card. And then you activate a business WhatsApp. And that, that number becomes your business number. So that you don't get mixed with both. And business WhatsApp has a lot of tools. So I'm not going to go. I want you to do that for homework. Uh, the next thing is, um, let me quickly see. Is something called Google My Business. Google My Business is the uh, is the most powerful platform at the moment um, that you need to use. Now, <coughs> Google My Business. I'll give you an example. If you have ever searched something, now I've just searched uh, La Riba Lot, right? Have you ever seen here on the right hand side? They throw out this uh, uh, block here with photos, the address. It gives you a link website. Now, this is what Google My Business does. It's basically a website on its own. Now, what's nice about this, if someone searches in your area for a bed and breakfast or a lodge, you will come up and they will find you. And the only way they will find you is dependent on how many reviews you have compared to your competitors. And look at this. There's photos you can put up. You can put up your pricing. People can book from you. Uh, you can have reviews, what people review. You can respond to those reviews. And this is so easy to set up, but Google My Business is powerful. It gives you analytics. It tells you how many people clicked on your number. It tells you how many people clicked on direction to your place. It gives you access to analytics that will help your business grow. Can't go into deep with that. It's just a quick uh, thing to, to show you tonight. Uh, there's something called TubeBuddy. And now what TubeBuddy does, if I go to my uh, website, it gives me video analytics. They're on the right hand kind. It tells me how, how many people viewed it on uh, on my uh, page. It tells me a social. Let's quickly look. I want to, uh, my, my business coach, uh, let, I want to get to, let's say, I want to have Gary V. Now, Gary Vunicek is one of my mentors that I follow. Now, I'm so, I, I also talk about marketing. So I want to see how his marketing is performing, right? Because I want to post similar. Uh, than, this morning, we had one of the most. I want to post similarly to him. So if I go to TubeBuddy, okay, we're just waiting for the analytics to come through. Okay, it's coming through now. It's, and, and what TubeBuddy does, it gives me analytics, how many people have viewed it. But here's the secret that I want. And this is our YouTube. This is a free hack for all of you. Tags. If you see what tags they are using, and you copy that tags in your video, your video will perform. You can even download this video, upload it to you, give him recommendation with the same tags, and your channel will automatically grow. And why is this? Why is this someone else? No, the reason for someone else is you actually bringing value to your community and say, look, this is one of my mentors, Gary V. I saw this video. You need to love it. You upload it, and you share it. 
okay, with the same tags, everything, and suddenly your growth of your channel will happen. I know you're on Graham, so you will love that hack. Uh, I think that is a powerful hack. And so TubeBuddy has a paid version, but also you can analyze your videos. You can see what they've used, and you can grow your YouTube channel. If you get more than a 1,000 uh, people that have subscribed to your YouTube channel, you can start monetizing your YouTube, and you can start earning money from your YouTube channel, just to give you an idea. Okay, so that is one tool that I can show you quickly. Um, Business WhatsApp, if you want to start mailing uh, newsletters, Here's a platform that you can use, MailChimp. MailChimp is quite good. It's a free version that is up to 2,000 emails, and you can do a lot of things on MailChimp. You can grow your audiences. You can boost landing pages. You can create a website if you want to. You can do a lot of things on, on here. So, you know, this is just another tip uh, and a hack that I want to say. Start communicating with your clients. Now, you say, Kubis, but I don't have a database. Well, you do. Go on your phone. You have telephone numbers. Go on your phone. You have email addresses. Go to Outlook. You have email addresses. Or go here and you find something called email extractor. You can extract emails from your Outlook. You can extract emails from, from your Facebook. You can print a screen with email addresses on and you can put it on email extractor and it will extract all of those email addresses for you that you can upload to your um, newsletter that you can send out to. So you can actually get more. Let me show you another way of um, um, doing it. Um, let me do this. Uh, let's I think it's this one. Okay. Here's an example of a tool that you can help you get leads. Now, I'm just let's open it quickly. And this helps you now example to get leads. But there's tools that you can actually extract from websites and you can find email addresses. But here's the one, they scrap, they find all of these people's email addresses and telephone numbers and et cetera, et cetera. I'm not gonna go into deep with that, but you can use that. Now, there's a few things that I probably wanted to still show you, but I think for now, is there any questions maybe that I can answer before we close down? Graham says, need this big time. Yes, Graham. Graham, can we do one for each platform? Uh, what do you mean for each platform, Graham? If you can just uh, ask me that question. Damn, hope you tackled. <laughs> okay, I saw that. So glad you are on my, you are my coach. Yes, Jack, thank you. That's why I'm here. I want to give value, value, value. And I want people to start getting results. Jack. Um, Graham, yeah, I can do one-on-one uh, one -on -one lessons. If you want uh, me as a personal coach and teacher, that's what I'm doing for Chart at the moment. Um, I'm assisting Chart with his social media and he branding himself. Um, Chart is one of my clients. Uh, Laura that was on here as well is also one of my clients. Uh, so we're running her email campaigns. Uh, we're running a newsletter and she's grown her business from where it was a few months ago to where it's now. It's freaking amazing how, how that has grown. Um, you put me on the map in less than six weeks. Thank you, Jod. Yeah, it actually took six weeks. Actually, less, yeah, you know. Amazing how things has happened and the results you are getting, Jod. And Jod, we're only beginning, you know. It's only the beginning, Jod. Wow, so much to ask. But you can't stay all night. We'll have to connect with you. Yes, Sonia, you will have to connect with me. I see a lot of you are asking questions. Great stuff. I'm glad. I've, hopefully, hopefully, I taught you something. Hopefully, some eyes open up. You know, I can teach so much more. And maybe that is why uh, you probably have to do this, you know. Uh, let me um, do this for you. <coughs> uh, let me call to action. Please ask your questions. Uh, why I see there's a few of you still on. Let's just ask questions. Okay, I would also like, okay, um, I'm going to ask now. Um, actions edit. You're welcome to, if you haven't uh, bought my program yet, that's launching on the 1st of August, um, you're welcome to go and uh, here's the link and check it out and uh, book tonight. Okay, let's quickly look. Uh, wow, well, so much. Okay, Francis has made Asia. Yeah, as you can quiet them down. Um, Francois, once we started, there's no looking back. All that I need from you, Francois, is commitment, hard work, put in the effort, and I promise you, you will get the results. But it's going to be hard work. It's not easy process because it will be, it will challenge you uh, the way you need to do it. I will challenge you to do things you will never have done before. Um, I have this one client that says, I would have never have done a live video on Facebook. 
but you know i was sweating i was uh, my my pants were shivering but you got me to do it and his life has changed so and he's gotten business through that um i would also like to chat to you one-to-one -one, um on my marketing quiz this session has been so good thank you now i'm here's my um email address um coaching at quibbers.com um you can send me an email just to give an idea i'm quite busy for this week and next week with the summit and i have current clients that are also keeping me busy so for one-to-one -one, i only have a few spots left i don't i can't um have a lot of people on on, on my one-to-one -one hours but if you want to follow the program everything is going to be there you're going to be part of the group we are launching on the first of august there is also uh, there's enough space there for you to join but just a reminder you are not buying a product from quivers you are investing in your future definitely francois and that's what it's about um and i really want you to be successful and i've i'm gonna be honest i fired clients you know because they thought it's just gonna fall from the sky I just need to listen it's like buying a book and never reading the book you know I, I, my name is uh, connected to this so if you're not not willing to put in the work to be successful um then i can't be your coach because it's important for me for you to get results it's important for me to say i'm sick and tired for where i'm and where my business is it's time that we need to change and adapt if you and your team are not willing to step up and do the changes of course then nothing is going to happen and you're always going to blame and, and complain about things um really helpful ajita yeah ajita you know ajita was one of was a great friend of mine um she's uh she's actually krupa's sister if i'm crazy is this the right ajita you know i just want to make sure this is the right ajita um krupa from kalama soul's sister um she's amazing she's built uh, her brand on social media she's the easy health and wellness um dietitian in, in the country she's number one and so she's highly in demand and she also loves the dotting and um but she's built a brand using social media a really helpful uh she's laughing at it great thanks info i will email you maria, maria stein thank you um also connect with me on facebook social media guys girls please go like me link, link uh, connect with me on linkedin maybe while you're here i'm going to show you a link can i share with you quickly a link if you don't mind uh that i want you to go see how powerful this link is um let me quickly go get it um so please don't leave it please don't leave it um i want to show you a link um that i used where i also track people and see and then you can go see what i have i have all my links at this link okay so here it comes okay copy i'm gonna paste it so click on this link and you will see there's everything about me all my social media all my pages or my links to youtube and go follow me you know this is a powerful tool that i'm having and i would love you to go see you can use a similar one where you can say people please go follow me on social media how do i do that here's a link just click on the link and open all the social media and please like and follow me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. See, people are starting to leave. Any last questions before I close this uh, uh, webinar tonight? And uh, and also maybe just one or two comments if you've learned something new. Okay. Thank you so much, Quivers. This was huge. You are super quivers. I like, followed, and connected so many platforms to support last time. I look like a stalker. That's fine. I don't mind stalkers, man. I like followers. As long as you share my posts and like my posts and comment my posts, that I love. Okay. Donkey, Graham. Donkey, Graham. Graham, no more excuses to, to, to circle. Let's get you out there, Graham, and be making you more successful. Okay, uh, Maria, I am so glad I caught this webinar. Thank you so much. I look forward to going through the replays. Yes, Maria. And this is only a, a small interest thing that social media can do for you. It's crazy what social media, you don't have to suffer. I can teach you how to do press releases and, and the platforms to use press releases where you can get on. I've been on radio, I've been on TV, I've been in magazines by just using this one platform where you send them and if they pick it up and like it, they get you on there. I've been on uh, Groot FM, I've been on um, uh, Radio Pretoria, I've been on um, YFM, I've been, I can't remember all of them, I've been in the Kia magazine, I've been in um, The Build, I've been on um, a few other magazines, Vanessa, I've been on TV, Quela, I was on Quela as well. So there's so many tools out there, you, you, you're not supposed to be suffering, especially now. 
Uh, Francis, sharing this session with friends, super, super, super session. Monica, there are always so much to learn. Thank you, Gracias. Please, uh, this comment in, or share is more important. All of them, Sonia. Like, comment, share. That's, uh, that's, that's the most important because it tells Facebook you love it and people need to love it as well. So exciting. I won't be able to sleep tonight. Maria, this is what happened. If you go to my YouTube, there's private marketing webinars that I did as well that you can also go watch. It's called Marketing Webinars Playlist. And go look at my playlist, go find marketing webinars. You will see I've done previous webinars on marketing and it's a little bit more in depth and goes through all of the channels and et cetera, et cetera. You will be blown away. Um, okay. Okay, so last questions and then I'm finishing off. I see a few of you still typing and then I'm going to stop. Great, thank you for your generosity and information. It's a pleasure. You know, and that's one thing that I want you to learn. Another hack, give value, value as much. Even if I had to give you my secrets away now that I know that you're also going to learn, it's about I want you to give the value. I want you to go and see the opportunities that are there. So please go follow it. Franco, my boy, is a YouTube for Schlaf. They're going to make him famous. Yes, Franco, we're going to use the same tools for him to make him famous. Okay, everyone, I need to go. Time is up. Um, it's just saving time now. Please connect with me. Have a beautiful night. Thank you for being on here. Love you all. And uh, cheers. Here we go.